just a quick one before we go into this video as well. Let's get behind the lads on Saturday. Let's support the team. Let's support everyone else and make it a great atmosphere. I'm sure you Evertonians will. Up the toffees. And yeah, just enjoy the video. Everton versus Aston Villa. Duncan Ferguson in interim charge for the upcoming games. What's happening, guys? And welcome back to the Jebo 37 YouTube channel for the first ever preview of an Everton fixture, really. You know, we've done match reactions. We do match day vlogs, so why not include the previews? So, yeah, Everton versus Aston Villa. What do we need to know? Now, for those starting, like... How can I put it? For those who are doing the 27 minutes of 27 years sitting at the end, let's not get on each other's backs, Blues. Let's support one another and let's, like, I don't know, we want change, don't we? We want better. You know, we're not expecting to win a trophy like this season or next season, but maybe in a few years' time it's possible. You know, we expect change for the better. Um, so, let's get into the fixture, shall we? So, Duncan Ferguson into the charge. Steven Gerrard, the manager of Aston Villa. Luca Dean is now playing for Aston Villa. Coutinho looks red hot for Aston Villa at the moment. And yeah, it, it, there's not really much to really say about Aston Villa in terms of everything, to be honest. You know, you know they got the result against Man United that they needed. You know, Coutinho coming on and getting a goal and assist. Luca Dean got booked. But apparently, Damari Gray skins Luca Dean and training every week when he was at Everton. So, how would I line up for this fixture? You know, we all know that Alan's struggling. We all know that Mikhalenko is out with COVID, it looks like. You know, we wasn't seen in training. So, that's what we're going to put it down to, really, you know. So, in terms of that, the only possibility that I can see is a 4-4-2. But Duncan Ferguson really executed that really well, you know, when um, before Carlo Ancelotti came in. Um, so, you know, obviously got the results against Chelsea. Got the draw against Arsenal. He got the draw against Man United, I believe, I think it was. So, yeah, in terms of that, you know, he, he done well last time, you know, we had the interim charge. So, how would I line up for this fixture? Now, for me, I wouldn't see Michael Keane or Mason Holgate in the team. I'd have Branthwaite and Mina at the centre-halves. So, I'd go Pickford in goal. So, we'll stick to the 4-4-2, which is what I think Duncan Ferguson's going to go for. We'll go Coleman right back, just for the pure severity of the fixture to be honest because at the end of the day it's a do or die fixture in my opinion you know it's a big six pointer and i feel like how we're gonna put it if we lose against villa it's not the end of the world but then machidi has got to make that crucial appointment you know whether he gives it to rooney lampard or whether he does something else really you know goes a different route but in my opinion he's got time to have on this he's got so much time to take and he can't be rushing the appointment so let's go back to the team Pickford in goal, we've got Coleman right back. I'm going to go for Mina and Branthwaite, which is what I said before, with Ben Godfrey at left back. So, we've got Gordon, Gray, Townsend, El Ghazi for the midfield. So, we're going to go Gordon and Gray. In my opinion, that's who I want to see, but I feel like the Duncan Ferguson might go for Andros Townsend and Damari Gray. Um, centre midfields, obviously Decore and Andre Gomez, which leaves Richarlison and Carvert Lewin up front. However, if anyone did see the training videos, we did see Solomon Rondon look absolute sharp as hell. Look like he was, I don't know, he looked absolutely amazing in training. So hopefully, you know, if he was to get the knob, then he can be able to do something with it. Do you know what I mean? Ch take his chance for the change against Aston Villa. But no, it is a tough game. It's a really tough game and it's a must, must win game. However, guys, I am going to stress one more time as well that if we are taking part in the 27 minutes or 27 years sitting um, at the end of the Villa game, please do not discriminate Evertonians for doing it, like, you know, kicking off on them or whatever for doing it because they all have their own beliefs. Everyone's entitled to an opinion and all that good stuff. I, however, am going to be taking part in it. And, yeah, it's as much as I really need to say about this preview, you know, we're not doing great on form, and there's not really much you can take from it. You know, Rafa Benitez got sacked against after the Norwich game. So, you can't really take much from it into a preview, you know, going, well, we're 16th in the league, and Villa are 13th, I believe, or wherever they are in the league, you know. We can't take that. The only the only thing I could really talk about is Aston Villa's form, and they got the results against Man United that everyone knew they'd get. So, it was a good 
you know, draw for them. You know, Coutinho doing his thing in there and everything else to follow with her. So, it's just one of them things, really. But, yeah, guys, I know we're close and edged. Well, closer towards 500 subscribers than ever. So, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support, really. And if we can get us over the line before the fixture to hit 500 subs by, I don't know, maybe tomorrow morning, possibly. Before the Aston Villa game, if we were to hit 500 subscribers, it would be absolutely incredible. But yeah, the match preview, first one anyway. So if you want to see anything else, if you want me to go in depth about anything else or anything like that, really, then let me know down in the comments so I can improve these match previews for you guys. And yeah, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell for more notifications. And yeah, I shall see you guys on another video.